Rockstar Games are doing something right now with the car dealerships in Grand Theft Auto Online that I don't think really anyone has noticed. We've got two car dealerships in the game, Luxury Autos, which I still believe Rockstar could have done more with. I feel like there could have been some sort of either interior where we could have gone and looked at the cars, like an actual showroom, or if we weren't going to get something like that, at least the vehicles on display could have been or had some special property or something about them. Because even as they currently stand right now with the new Imponte Ruiner ZZ8 and the Ocelot Pariah, there's nothing exclusive about these vehicles other than the fact that you can look at them on a showroom floor. So I feel like that was kind of a lost opportunity. But what was not a lost opportunity was Simeon's premium deluxe car dealership. There's a ton of features over there that we've never had in the game before, including the ability to test drive cars. It's a brand new interior. We get to look at Simeon Yatarian. There's a handful of interesting features there, like you can get free snacks. There's a usable soda machine. It functions like a lot of the interiors in game where you can adjust the radio. So they did take advantage of that. This also has more vehicles on display because it's obviously a bigger property. But there's also something else that Rockstar have been doing here that I don't think a lot of people have noticed. And that's what we're going to be diving into in this video today. So let's just take this week, for example. If we go to Simeon's Premium Deluxe Motorsports, you're going to notice that there's a handful of cars on display. And one vehicle in particular is the Vapid Speedo. Now you might be wondering, what's so special about the Vapid Speedo? This car has been in GTA Online and Grand Theft Auto V for a long time. It's also had a handful of different variants that have been added to it in Grand Theft Auto Online as well. You've got the Clown Van variant. You also have the Speedo Custom. There's also a few special variants like Lamar Davis's and the one from the Vinewood Souvenirs mission in single player. So it's been utilized a handful of times in story mode and in multiplayer. But what makes the Vapid Speedo special is up until this week, you weren't able to actually purchase this vehicle. The only way to get it is if you managed to grab it in free roam or got it through some other method, whether you call it a glitch or an exploit, whatever the case might be. This is the first time you've legitimately been able to buy this vehicle. And Rockstar even acknowledged that. This is what they said on their Newswire page. At Premium Deluxe Motorsports Showroom, walk around Simeon's showroom to check out the following vehicles, give them a test run, and buy them outright. And you can see at the very top, a classic red Vapid Speedo, previously unavailable in GTA Online. And this isn't the first time that Rockstar has done this. Since the car dealerships have arrived, they've been doing that. They've been making at least one vehicle available that has previously not been able to be purchased before. Last week, Rockstar ended up releasing the Declasse Tornado convertible, painted cast iron silver, previously unavailable in GTA Online. So again, you can see that they've done something like that. And in the very first week, they ended up giving us the classic black Benefactor Dubsta with unique trim, previously unavailable in GTA Online. So essentially what Rockstar is doing here is they are making the rarest cars in the game, vehicles that have only spawned in the wild or have required a certain method in order to get them. They are now giving us the ability, basically 10 years later, to just say, hey, we are going to give you these cars and you can ultimately buy them. So there's kind of two sides to the fence here. Number one, if you've wanted these vehicles for a long time, but been frustrated that you couldn't get them on the in-game website, well, now you'll be very happy to know they are very easy to come by. On the other hand, now this sort of eliminates any kind of rare vehicle in online that cannot be purchased on the website. Now, if you guys decide to do this for yourself, you end up buying the Speedo or any other vehicles that Rockstar might end up adding, which we'll talk about in a little bit. There's one important thing that you need to do. Don't just necessarily stop at the Los Santos Custom Shop because I ended up buying the Speedo. I wanted to see if I could customize this thing. And yes, you can bring it into the Los Santos Custom Shop, but you can't do anything with the vehicle. All you can do is add explosives, check if you have loss and theft protection, which you do, and then sell it, which you'll sell it for a loss. That's super lame. You obviously can't do anything and you'd be stuck with this red color. Well, if you actually call in your mobile operation center 
or your Avenger, after the latest DLC, the Criminal Enterprises update, you're obviously now able to customize pretty much any vehicle. So we grab our Avenger and we can bring it inside and we have access to armor, brakes, engine, add different horns, lights, change the plate, respray it. We can add suspension, transmission, turbo, window, wheels, all things you can do on a normal car. Now, it doesn't have really any unique customization, but you can still change it up to get it sort of the way you want adding a different license plate or a different color or obviously making it perform a little better with armor, brakes, engine, stuff like that. So that's honestly what I would recommend doing is bringing it somewhere like that because we went from no customization to a decent amount of customization. And it looks like Rockstar will be continuing to do this every single week. And I'll actually leave a spreadsheet in the description. Now, it might be a little bit complicated, but essentially what you want to look for is the key vehicle info tab. And you can basically scroll through every category and car in the game. And essentially what you want to look for is the cost. And if you find a vehicle that doesn't have a cost associated with it, that means that it isn't available to purchase on any of the in-game websites. So that should give you an idea of maybe what cars Rockstar plans on adding next. Now, when you are looking for vehicles like this, keep in mind that they still do have to fit inside of Simeon's Premium Deluxe Motorsports. So a lot of the cars you're going to see are probably like military or commercial grade. Those are obviously not going to fit in there, and I don't think Rockstar would put like a Trash Master in there. Let's just say that. But what I could see them doing is putting in a handful of the vehicles that we've seen so far that are in-game but not available to purchase on any of the in-game websites. So I do think this is an incredibly cool feature that Rockstar is doing with the brand new car dealership, Simeon's Premium Deluxe Motorsports. And we kind of had to wait to see if Rockstar was going to continue to do this. And since they've done it for three weeks in a row, I think it's safe to say that this little trend is definitely here to stay. And it's also been nice that so far, because these vehicles haven't been on a website, they haven't had a price, Rockstar hasn't made them exorbitantly expensive. This Vapid Speedo was only $15,000. I know the Dubsta, the very first week, was only $100,000, I think, which isn't terrible in the grand scheme of things. So it's not like Rockstar is saying, hey, now you have the chance to buy these vehicles. We're going to put a super premium on them. No pun intended. They're actually putting them at a pretty reasonable and fair price. But I'd obviously love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. What vehicles do you hope Rockstar adds to Simeon's dealership next that are in-game but cannot be purchased on any of the in-game websites? Let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.